Hey, I'm Kevin, and I'm going to show you how to quantize MIDI in Logic Pro 10. First thing, let's start Logic Pro. We are going to create a new empty project. Select External MIDI and check the checkbox for Use External Instrument Plugin. I've already turned on my MIDI, so when I start playing a key, this little red icon turns on. I'll go ahead and deselect that, and then I'm going to go ahead and choose an instrument, a piano. Now I'd like to check out my Logic Pro 10 settings. Logic Pro, Preferences, Audio. I can see the input buffer size is 128. That's great for recording. If I was going to do a whole lot of processing, I might change that to 1024. I've also got it set uh, at 24-bit uh, recording. You can see that checkbox is checked. That's so I can get a higher quality recording. If I click on the General tab, I can select my uncompressed uh, recording file type, which I selected as the WAV. I could also choose the AIFF. Now we're going to look at our project settings. File, project settings, audio. I can see my sample rate is 44.1, which is standard for compact discs, but uh, I'm going to change that to 48 kilohertz. Now let's look at our metronome settings. I've got these different options here. Click while recording, only during counting, click while play. But once I click on that checkbox, it's clicking while playing, right? Click while recording is checked. And you heard a count in, and it's clicking while recording. The count in is because of this one, two, three, four icon. So if I uncheck that, you just hear the, uh, the clicking while recording. If I unclick click while recording, I don't hear anything while I'm recording. Now I'll close this pane and start recording some MIDI. Now I'll double click on my file and I can see the piano roll shows up and I can see my MIDI notes. So I can look at this as a half note half note, half note, half note, or quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, eighth note, eighth note, eighth note, eighth note, right? You get the idea. Sixteenth note, sixteenth note, sixteenth note, sixteenth note, and half of that is a thirty-second so if I'm going to go ahead and quantize to one of those values, I can do that. And what's going to happen is these MIDI notes are going to adjust. I clicked on the Q, it sets a 16th note, and now you can see there's a 16th note there. The MIDI note adjusted to a 16th note. If I change that time quantization to quarter note, you can see the MIDI notes move again. And now you can see that they're lined up at quarter notes. and eighth note. That's an eighth note. I can also quantize on the info panel or info pane by clicking the quantize option and selecting that time value that I like to quantize my MIDI events to. I can change the strength and swing parameters as well. Strength is how closely I want to get my imperfect recording to a, a perfect 16th note in this case. Thanks for watching and let me know if there's another topic you'd like me to cover. This has been Quantizing MIDI and Logic Pro 10.